Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm very excited, Nathan. Today we're going to do some more Five Sauce, but it's not a Five Sauce song or an album mm. or anything like that. It's a Five mm -hmm. Sauce interview uh, during a podcast series or episode. And I'll get into that in just a while here. Um, or just a bit, not in a while, sorry. But before we get into it, it's from a new patron, a new supporter mm -hmm. of our channel. Their name is Lizzie. So if you want to just give them a little welcome mm. to the... Uh, little welcome. welcome song. Okay. And uh, Ryan's going to sing the words. Here you go. No, I'm not... <laughs> Why are we doing this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, John Popper, that's enough. Let's the. Uh... All right. Thank you, Lizzie. We appreciate your support. Now, Lizzie and I, no I feel words. bad because um, Lizzie did pay for this, but she got some, and I mean this in a, in a great way. She got some help from the Welpdom, uh, hmm. because it's, it's a, not just a song. It's like a half hour video. <clears throat> so, uh, she got some support from other five sauce fans of the Welpdom. So we want to say Lizzie and nice. friends, thank you so much for working together and making this possible for Lizzie. So that was really sweet. Everyone that helped her out. So thank everyone just give a, a round of applause for that. Okay. She said this, hi there, I would really like to get a reaction to the podcast that Five Sauce did called Five Sauce Talks 10 Years. Each episode is a year of their lives. Specifically, I would love to get a reaction for the 2011 episode hmm. where they talk about starting their band. So there you go. That's what, we're, okay. that's what we're watching today. That's it. Cool. Yeah, here we go. 2011. That's, oh, that's a while ago now. That's like 10 yeah. years ago. Now, this is a fairly recent podcast like this wasn't done too long ago but oh, oh, oh i see i see they're talking yeah, about the, the, i gotcha uh, they're going through the years in each gotcha. episode's a different year yeah i've gotcha okay. okay all right so basically what we're going to do is try and remember 10 years of our existence as, as a band as best as we can oh they're just together they don't even have a host with them i see it's a mm. podcast but Sure, it's a round table. That's a better cool. way to use it. It's a round table. Uh, the episodes were filmed in chronological order. However, we are releasing these episodes in reverse order. What? The episodes were filmed. So they starting at the beginning, at the end? I'm so confused. Is that what they mean? Am I getting that right? Uh, I think so. It's like a countdown? Uh, yeah, okay. Interesting. <laughs> I think I would rather watch it in chronological order, but that's just me. But that's okay. Well, which we are. Mm -hmm. I think this is the beginning. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm and it will be full of ups and downs and things that we get upset about internally, <laughs> but also things we're really happy about. Mm -hmm. Let's all start with our names and our turn-ons and turn-offs. <laughs> right. I think Justin, to yeah. discuss our whole band's career, we need to set the preface that this is just what we remember. We don't remember much. We're not guaranteeing <laughs> that we remember it all, but what we do remember I'm, is... Yeah, I'm also not even saying that some of this happened. And what I you can what I mean? confirm is in 2011, <laughs> I don't even come into the band till halfway through so i'm gonna let mm. you take it oh, from okay. the get-go yeah what do you remember actually luke should take it from the get-go you were the get-go man okay so it all began <laughs> how did it begin i think all actually right, I'll, honestly all right, I'll it might be <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. i think you would have a, a clearer picture because i think you I saw did. it slightly from the schoolyard and then i did it was looking in from the outside it was it was different um i'd hit the big time yeah <laughs> so <laughs> and you wanted a piece <laughs> I mean, it's fine to put it that way. So, that's what happened. So when when we were uh, when we were really mature men um, of the of the ripe age of uh, fourteen, um, I think maybe fifteen at this point. No, still fourteen. I think um, you know Luke had started posting um, videos on YouTube, and uh, you know you had this you had this beautiful blue acoustic. <laughs> um, <laughs> You had these fantastic purple speakers that that uh pink the, pink pink. They were do pink. these videos yeah, exist? Like, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Do these videos exist of Luke back posting on YouTube? Oh, good question. Yeah, boy, I they probably. I'm sure some fans have scour, scour for them. Fourteen year old Luke, he probably looks like he's eight. <laughs> yeah, uh, I imagine. Well, maybe he took him down, but. <laughs> Those would be adorable. <laughs> oh, we're getting oh. the they do. Okay, well there okay. you go. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful pink speakers that sat behind you um, in every video that you would make on on Liz Hemmings iMac, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just remember, you know, as 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 I was looking at you and I was looking at you making videos and you singing, 
I was like, you shouldn't be doing this without me. It's not fair. Mm-hmm. You can't. You you can't go this far without me. Mm-hmm. I was like you, you, and and then you know I really, I really had a great chance of, at uh at you know making Luke feel like he was nothing without me. Um, which was that's great. At first yeah. he was the manager. Yeah, which was really great at first. <laughs> really, really strengthened our relationship. <laughs> um, you know, and but no, I, you were, you were posting videos on YouTube. Um, and they were great, man. Don't get me wrong. Hey, thanks. They were awesome. <laughs> Okay. Don't get me wrong. They were great. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I know I know. whenever we have talk show hosts, you kind of comment on the talk show host. I'm going to talk on the camera person here. I okay. love the angles, but this one that's moving around is driving me up the wall <laughs> um, because I know what's going on here. They're, they're trying to make it look like it's that shaky cam kind of footage. Oh. <clears throat> and they've changed the frame rate or the, the shutter speed, so it's a little blurry. It's it's like getting on my nerves. Sorry, oh, okay. that's just that's, well, that's just right. me. Oh, it's yeah. a reaction video. Uh, yeah. I will say this: this is interesting. This, you know, because we're very popular, just like Pie Sauce. Uh, but this is kind of how you and I kind of got started. Like long story, long long story short, Nathan saw that I was doing reactions on my own. Mm-hmm. He saw that I was doing that on YouTube. Obviously, he's like, "Hey, can mm-hmm. I? Can I?" Well, I invited him to join me, but he accepted the yeah. invitation. And he's oh, like, "Let's." Tr- yeah. <laughs> You, you want to join me? Anyways, I think it's kind of cool. That that's how they kind of started. Was mm-hmm. I was doing something, and you, you know, you, you hitched your wagon to me. So <laughs> very um, husky. Oops, sorry. Very husky voice. Yeah, going you, on. you were still kind of coming into uh, coming into your 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 voice. You can say it. Um, no, they were <laughs> they were dope. They were dope. And and I just remembered as you were as as people were looking at your videos online. I had known that 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 you know we'd always talked about starting a band or whatever, and then we were like, "This is kind of a cool opportunity to do something cool." And um, and then I think we started doing covers together. Mm-hmm. Um, which, covers, to be fair, covers. I made them mm-hmm. much worse. I'm, I, I, I'm <laughs> totally aware. Absolutely, oh, you know, you know, part of what I what I do best is I'm very self aware. It says we, you did a Blink One Eighty Two cover. We did I Miss You, and that was when I, again, playing bongos. Again, I know, terrible ideas all round, <laughs> but that's why you love me, of course. Oh, yeah, so was this, this Blink cover was not, this was with a, there was a third component in this cover, I believe. That was, I believe, Mr. Hood. Um, and that- oh, yes. No, yeah. And I saw you guys from the outside. I'm like, <laughs> these guys shouldn't have made it this far without me. So I've come in, and you've turned around in music class, and I had my long luscious golden brown hair flowing <laughs> wait hold on i don't think you can change the story like this. I know it was, oh okay it was, okay yeah i had a pretty shitty haircut you had a little time. fuzzy um yeah. and you turned Still around and i'm pretty sure it was cap. pretty simple like you it. just said you want to you want to make a band with me and luke i was like hey you want to join yeah and we were like yeah sure and, but then there was the awkward conversation about 24 hours later where we were like well, we oh. can't all play. Nathan, why did you tell me about that stupid angle cut? Now that's all I'm seeing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice it. Then when they did it, like ah, yeah, They're like it's like it's like this. It's like this. I know. Hey, look, look. Hey, hey Nathan, how's it going? <laughs> well, pure. Oh, wow, it's like I'm in a war zone. <laughs> you know, why? Why would you film it that way? What would be the purpose of that? Is it to? This, it's an artistic choice, and yeah, when it's done well, when you can't tell. It's actually it's great when it's not done well. It stands out. So, well, it's not five sauce's no. fault. It's not. No, five it's not. Fault. No, unless they specifically said, make sure when you go on that camera, I want you to do this tour. But I don't yeah. think they said this. Yeah, play guitar. No, we can't. Oh, I do remember this. Yes, yeah. this is a good. This is a good one. Yeah. So we're in uh, woodwork class. I think it's called wood shop here. There's woodwork. <laughs> wood <Yeah>. shop. <laughs> we were in the wood shop. And I was I was like very <laughs> awful at it. Like surprisingly bad at putting things i can't build anything that will work um, yeah yeah as you can tell from my very masculine appearance it's very surprising to a lot of people that i'm not a very good builder um mm-hmm. did not run on the family and i remember we're sitting down with um oh this is quite offensive to you cal so but um, you know you were 14 so no it's not i, I shred base now yeah so. no, okay cool i'm cool we ended up no, in a good is, place no i agree this is really offensive <laughs> <laughs> sorry man okay should you want me to leave <laughs> yeah, should leave. i leave and we're in woodwork and we're, you know, at the table, we probably like finished our, I don't know, or not, I don't know why we were just sitting out there on our own, but Hayden, our friend at school, mm. he's like a tall athletic type Can guy. you keep explaining him so we can draw an animation yeah. of him? Yeah. Hayden, uh, <laughs> he had like baby-ish cheeks. Kind he was like very... Almost chipmunkish? Yeah. yeah. But like but handsome. Not. Caleb was more of the chipmunk, I think. Okay. His yeah. cheeks were very like... <laughs> 
bulbous was, for that, some reason. Yeah, <laughs> rosy as well. Yeah, <laughs> nice, 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 short. Nice remember short we had long. that? Uh, remember that kid in our junior high, Nathan, who had the same type of rosy cheeks and bulbous cheeks? Remember Steve? I don't say. Oh that. yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. We used to call him. He, he had blushy cheeks they were always like flushed so they were like it wasn't a skin it was the blood so he always had like flushed like he's always looking like he was blushing it was patchy blushing and his cheeks were kind of bigger too just like this and he he had his remember his nickname he's he's a funny kid uh what was his nickname though he he had a nickname because of his his nickname was face man steve all right (laughs) 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 we called him his nickname was face (laughs) <laughs> I went to school with him uh, the year before at uh, the Cedar elementary Hill? school. Yeah. No, oh, no I was it before. Fairburn? Huh. Fairburn? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. We went to school together in grade eight. I remember we both were in grade eight. <laughs> I kid. You would like all your friends, and I had no friends. So I just follow you around everywhere. Hey, um, I'm friends with Ryan. And Ryan was just like, is there a voice behind me somewhere? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Nathan, you can hang out with me. That's fine. Come on. Mm. Like, <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. <laughs> you cut oh, off my... jeans? Were you already cut off jeans? Oh, yeah. My mullet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed about my whole teenage life. It was terrible. <laughs> I wish I could go back in time and just redo it, the brain that I have now. Yeah. Oh, oh well. One haircut. <laughs> Yeah, good, good man. And uh, we're sitting down, and we're talking about somehow we got on the topic of like who's gonna, yeah. you know, what are we gonna do in the band? We're like, all right, let's call the band, uh, uh, uh reverse. Oh yeah, we were stuck in stuck reverse in at this stuck point. Stuck in reverse, yeah. And, as was every band in and, in the local Sydney yeah. community. And bulbous cheeks, <laughs> bulbous cheeks. Hayden mm-hmm. McKinnon goes, um, well, we'll, you know, look at Jesus Christ. Who's gonna play? <laughs> you know, who's gonna play bass? And mm-hmm. he was like, oh, we don't know yet. You know, we weren't ready we for this conversation. The first band yeah. conflict. Yeah. Oh wow, this is stuck awkward. in reverse. Is downfall. Um, <laughs> stuck in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a bad. That's not a bad was, name. What? What is bass? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Gallus. Uh, he said, "Who? Well, who's who's the worst at guitar?" Okay. And oh. I should have left. <laughs> <laughs> who's worse at guitar? You're going to be and the bass player. We look over at Callum, and, and you know, a single tear falls from his eye, and he goes, "Guys." I'll take this one. <laughs> <laughs> take the fall. Uh, to be fair, I was I was the worst. But Wor- yeah, worst isn't maybe the right. Maybe not as practice yet. Not as practice. <laughs> not as nimble. You're very good at acoustic, but not Thanks, as good. Man. Not as not good on the electric. Practiced. Yeah. You no, but sh- then yeah. I was like, all right, well, this is my time to shine and as the, as the only <laughs> bassist in the band. <laughs> and that was that's very rare in a band. It's, it is rare. That's a great origin story. For Callum Hood, it's it's bordering on villain origin story. <laughs> Almost, it's, like a <laughs> it's still could be. It's very villain. It is villain origin. It is bordering on it. Um, and then, <laughs> um, and, then and then after that, um, you know, we had talked about, you know, how do we get a little more serious as a band? Um, you know, and we looked at each other. What do bands do? Uh, and you know, we all collectively decided that we have no fucking idea. <laughs> Um, and and then we just, <laughs> the band went on hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, I think uh, we were like, you know, what could be g- great is a drummer um, to yeah, make a music. drummer. Yeah. Um, and then we were like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's dive in. And we reached out on Facebook and we started to book a gig. Mm-hmm. Um, and then yeah, we how like, did this gig happen? Because I honestly have no. Someone had reached out and said that there's an opportunity for us to play a gig. Um, in a cinema. Mm. Oh my God! The gig before the gig. That mm. was- and and oh. <clears throat> cinema. This was the the oh my God. the pre gig the the warm up gig and um and we were like okay well I'm sure you know it'll be massive you know what do we have on YouTube <laughs> ten thousand subscribers that's massive no, that's all right uh, hey boy oh. yeah, they're just fifteen year old kids with already ten thousand subscribers that's like just half what we have and we're like been shucking and jiving for the last. Four years. Yeah, back then it was easier to get. Yeah, as was a it? startup. Yeah, as oh. a startup, it was way easier. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, fine. It's harder today. Yeah. Well, they're also they're cute and young and talented. We're old, ugly, and have no talent. But fair enough. Yeah, and everyone hates us. Ten thousand people there. We're also the rest. <laughs> well, yeah. 
Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Only certain people. <laughs> uh, yeah, patrons dropping like flies. Okay, here we go. A thousand people. Do you know how it works? Perfect. Um, so, yep, yeah, we went to the cinema and we were going to play. And then we said, cool, we rehearsed. Um, the day before, Callum said, hey, guys, I can't come. I got soccer practice. <laughs> I <laughs> did, though. <Yeah. laughs> yeah, soccer fucking practice. Villain shit right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You were already hoping for the downfall from the beginning. What did we play at that gig? Um, we played Panic at the Disco, Mona Lisa. Oh, it's good. <laughs> we played... Um, I would think the main would be on there somewhere, maybe. I remember Yeah. I remember practicing on the train with our acoustics, yeah. um, a Mayday Parade song. Mm-hmm. Kids in Love or something. Something I really like, not, not their big song. Yeah, yeah, like... Mm-hmm. We played deep cuts, but that was okay. Yeah, you know? that's why people <laughs> gravitated towards us. They yeah. wanted <laughs> it showed that you know we were we were fans of music. Um, and then after that was a complete fucking yeah. train wreck. Um, <laughs> but to be fair, people showed up. They listened. My hair was down to my fucking chin, and I didn't look up once. It was great. Yeah, we great, hit the straightener that day. Great learning experience. How many people were there? I don't remember. I honestly don't know. I think know. maybe about 20. I, f- I feel like there were... Yeah. Maybe 20. Which is pretty good. So it we've been lying... It's not bad. It's good. Yeah. We don't talk about this one ever. Well, because it didn't really count. Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah. It didn't really count. It was just like m- me and you showing up at a cinema with two acoustic guitars. And then after that, we were like, that went so great. Uh, let's book a real gig. How did we get the gig at... Um, uh, again, f- Facebook. Um, <laughs> I forget his name. Um, yeah, he messaged me and he was like, yeah, dude, um, since the cinema gig went so great, um, you want to, you want to, you want to play at the Annandale? Um, yeah, it was like, you want to play at the Annandale and that's a big gig. Yeah. And obviously before messaging you guys back, um, I had accepted, <laughs> of course, you know, I knew it was right for Fucking the band. True um, manager style. and then, uh, after that. We had realized, okay, let's start playing. And we got out the electric guitars and, and got a bass for you. It yeah. said, I love Mutt. Um, nice little um, nice little piece of wood. Well, that I was. think that was even after Ashton joined the band. Because that was Ashton's bass. Oh, that was Ashton's bass. I didn't yeah. even have a bass. You didn't have Yeah, one. how did you get... Didn't, didn't we borrow one from... This is weird. Like, oh, you're the bass player. So uh, maybe I should get a bass guitar? <laughs> Wait. They assigned him the bass player, but he didn't have a bass yet. Is that kind no, of what you're saying? No, I think I think yeah, he joined the band as hi, I'm a person. <laughs> <laughs> you will play bass, okay? Well, <laughs> well, uh, where's the bass? Yeah, school. I think we stole a guitar from school, yeah, and <laughs> we were just using it to play the bass notes. Yeah, Emma. Yeah, what? You're nodding. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds like a good story. Yeah, yeah. I still have the guitar. I love the one that you it. stole again. Yeah. The villain cool. adding thievery. <laughs> yeah, this this villain origin story is really coming to life. Um, and then after we got together, we realized okay, we really need a drummer uh, more than we needed one before. <laughs> now that we have a gig booked, oh, we boy. definitely need one. Mm. And. Um, so that's a bit of history there. So especially some- unofficially, the first mm-hmm. that's a good trivia question. The first five sauce gig, who attended? Mm-hmm. Mike and Luke. That was it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's your first. They're and- trying to say that it's not the official one, but I mean that's technically technically. Is this as five sauce though? Is this or are they still reverse what's it called again? So stuck in reverse. That's a good stuck question. Is this- yeah. Yeah, but that's when it gets a little bit too not uh but yeah. Band names do change all the time, but you're right. Was that a five sauce gig or stuck in reverse mm-hmm. gig? Good question. Let us know mm-hmm. in the comments. That's a good point. That might have been a stuck in reverse gig. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, Ashton was like a he was local, like, local legend. He was like a name, a name <laughs> that had floated was. around was, between yeah. like when it came to to drumming um, in our area. It was no, it was clear drumming oh. or drumming drumming drummers need you. Yeah, it was. Want bands now? It, it was. It was very much a a, a a a legendary tale of this Ashton Irwin, and uh, oh, you know, I reached name. out um, on to, Facebook. I reached out to find him. Um, oh, the thanks, the Mark. best the best place that I that I knew 
um, which had le- led me to so many other fruitful endeavors. Uh, that was Facebook. <laughs> Facebook and comes I, in again. I sent a message, <laughs> and it would be nice to pull the message up right now. <laughs> oh. It said, oh. I remember I sent it to you a few years ago. <laughs> I remember exactly what you said. <laughs> see, hey, uh, hey, man, our band is playing a gig on December 3rd. We don't really have a drummer. And I know that you're a sick drummer. Ha ha. I know all the drum parts to our songs, and it will only be like five, six songs that you'll have to learn maybe if you'd be willing to rehearse. You'll be playing with us to hopefully over 200 screaming fans. I don't know if you want to do it or think about it, but it's really soon, so let me know. We'll promote your Ashton Irwin music while we're up there, and hopefully we get paid a fair bit so we can split some with you. But let me know because we need to we need to rehearse heaps. or Heaps? Yeah, lots. Okay. Wow, that's hilarious. That's so cool they kept that. Hey, man. Yeah. December 2011. Look at that. I know. Or November I kept, 2011. I should have kept like any messages said, what, that you sent what's me. What's up? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, heard about you through my mate Chris. Yeah. Um, Chris and, went to our school. Day. And um, Mike. Mike says, "Hey, there's probably going to be about 200 people at our first gig. It's be fucking be massive. A, be a pleasure to play with you. That's there's no good guaranteed turnout. spot in the yeah. band, but you know, we're doing a rehearsal. Did this you Thursday. already say there's no guaranteed spot in the band? Yeah, yeah I, made awesome. it, I made it clear, bro. Wow, well, I you, didn't want to be like, yeah, hey, because at this point in time, it was a trio. Yeah, and I, and mm. we didn't, we'd never met him, and I was essentially sessioning. Yeah, oh, which camera. was cool with Sorry. me. Interesting. <laughs> so I had a car and stuff, and I was, I was just trying to get gigs at the time. I didn't have a car yet, actually. I, I remember you replied and you said, "Hey, bro, sounds good. I got nothing better to do." Yeah, that there was, you go. <laughs> that wow, was that's, all right. that's, that's okay. literally what you would say now if someone asked that same question. <laughs> I still <laughs> say that when people ask me to play drums. I say I got nothing better to do. I'd love to, and and I'm still. I mean, you know. Anyways, so. I show up at rehearsal. I meet Callum for the first time. Uh, there's an electric drum kit. I'm sweating balls. It's Australia. It's so hot. And I rode my bike from Richmond to <laughs> Quakers Hill. <laughs> which, um, which so to put in perspective, is, is a big ride. <laughs> I may as well have been training for the tour de France. <laughs> but, um, and I showed up and parked my Huffy in the driveway. I had some drumsticks with me, like a true legend. Mm-hmm. Of course. Mm-hmm. I was wearing my purple shirt, which you all then went on to traumatize me. Yeah. So imagine I was poor, it was poor. I was poor as shit. Imagine and I could only afford two t-shirts. Imagine you all tease me about a that. nice thin cotton purple shirt that's with a really really deep V-neck. Yeah, oh. deep V, Jersey like Shore V. What Barney would wear on his off day, you know? <laughs> Who's Barney? Like Barney, Barney the dinosaur. Right. So you're still teasing me. That's great. <laughs> uh, but, so I get, walk in and they have an electric drum kit and we're in Mike's granny <coughs> flat and he pr- proceeds to tell me how to play drums. I was like, hey bro, so <laughs> hey, bro. the songs that we're playing, they're going to sound something like this. Um, and I remember you definitely smiling and nodding. You were like, mm-hmm, sounds good. <laughs> yeah, You're as like, a good session guy does. <laughs> you were like, great man. <laughs> and I met Callum for the, f- no, Callum didn't show up again. Um, he wasn't there. I think I had soccer practice. Soccer practice. Um, like. was yeah splitting his worlds, but so we did this rehearsal. We played Gotta Get Out. Interesting. Which was a song that Callum wrote. I think they're doing it as a joke though. And I was like, "Where is this oh, are Brian oh, Wilson esque hmm. guy?" <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, wow, writing, very mysterious." He's writing all these songs for the band, but he doesn't show up for the gigs. Yeah, and, you know the irony about soccer and the whole like, "Oh, it's football, uh, soccer." Uh, soccer is actually an acronym used from uk football so okay. it's actually still has this or it's still a, it's still a uk or whatever an english uk term regarding football i forget what it stands for like i just like mm. i forget what it is uh but you could go don't google it now don't go nathan what you're not googling you're we're gonna pay <laughs> okay anyways so soccer is actually not, uh, even though this is funny that we get, what I'm saying is like a, us uh, Canadians or you know Americans get criticized for calling it soccer. It actually is a proper term that was used by Europeans even before it came over here. Like, anyways, whatever. I don't know. What do I know? Hmm. Uh, you want to know what it means? <laughs> yeah. What? It's an abbreviation of yeah. association from associate. Okay. First appeared in English public schools and university in the 1880s, sometimes spelled S O C K E R. Yeah, it, it, it came. That's right. It came from an abbreviation, just like you would uh, an acronym, an acronym, right? Or an acronym. That's right. So you'd say soccer to to shorten, like USA means United States of America. It's the same idea. This is soccer it was a, an acronym for a European term. So, anyways, I just think it's funny that we're not allowed to do that, but that's what it is. It's from that, anyways. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> no, that wasn't my world. <laughs> and we learned <laughs> Hot and Cold by Katy Perry, but we added a metal breakdown because we were oh, aware of our that. audience. Yeah, we were aware that we were playing a hardcore meetup with other heavy bands that do breakdowns. Yep. And mm. we knew we needed some monstrous energy involved. So yep. we chose Katy Perry. <laughs> yep, that was oh, no, like, no, no. totally <laughs> great pick. And then we did an amazing cover of uh, Rolling in the Deep by yep. Adele. Oh, wow. Um, no. Which was firing. It's ambitious. Which was really going off, uh, you know, and the crowd was loving it. Um, <laughs> nobody, nobody realized I was playing in a completely different key, but. Which uh-huh. was kind of psychedelic. <laughs> Exactly. It added like a cool, yeah. like a nice little friction. <laughs> Bit of tension. Wait, yeah. so... So now we come to December 3rd. I remember, I feel like I remember something when Callum maybe wasn't even there. So this is probably part of the villain story as well. <laughs> he, after Ashton left the first rehearsal, me, I remember, I don't remember much, but I remember he comes to me going like, what do you think? <laughs> I, I do. And I said, I think he's sick. Think after, he's- uh, and we only did about... Two rehearsals, I think. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I feel like we knew. We knew straight away. We we're like, oh yeah, this is a guy. Yeah, a guy no, sure. I remember. I was like, what do you think? Could he? Could he be in the band? <laughs> and uh, and I remember you being like, yeah, he could, but he has to meet Callum first. That was what you said. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. hey, that's good. I got sweaty hands. Really did. Yeah. Um, and then and, and he didn't know your shit because you don't turn up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even show up yet. Yeah, well, well I did have something better to do. Yeah, at the time. Let's play soccer. That's very yeah. funny. Yeah, much then, more promising. And then, that point, to, to and then I said to Luke, "Anyway, you want to play guitar here?" <laughs> and we we're like, "Yeah." Um, we fucking shredded it. Which was kind of, <laughs> which was kind of the band's main hustle until about four years ago. Yeah, <laughs> guitar <laughs> hero. Guitar <laughs> hero. <laughs> yeah, that was big back then. It, a lot of oh, people. Yeah. There's yeah. a band that you and I both enjoy that started from their playing rock band. So there's. A lot of people kind of got into experiencing or enjoying just the, the idea of playing music because of rock band. It's yeah. uh, it's it's cool. It's, yeah. uh, uh, I've played so much so much rock band. Uh, they don't make the peripherals anymore, so it hmm. sucks. Like you can't buy a guitar. Like the uh, the company that makes the the instruments aren't uh, making them anymore, so they're expensive, unused. You know, supply and demand. Right now, it's just a demand with no supply. Yeah, getting good at to easy. To be fair, in the beginning, oh, well, I guess that's more of a 2012 thing. But yeah, we'll hold up. For yeah, a yeah, yeah. So we're still in 2011. Now we play this gig on December 3rd at this pub, and it's a not a soup. I guess it's a pretty well-known pub for breaking smaller bands. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was part of the Sydney scene, and that was our first time ever we kind of played in an official venue. And I showed up. Um, I went with your mum. We drove together. Ooh. I think we carpooled. No, we I, carpooled. Yeah, I, and I, and. I, Drove with you too, and th- <laughs> I think it's important to know that Luke's mum was was Ashton's math teacher. Oh my god! At his school. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so it was weird hanging out with Liz outside of school hours. <laughs> yeah. but, that's um, that's fucking crazy. But I was also happy Liz was observing my side hustle. That's yeah. that's nice. That's why you're tired at school, Ash? Well, you're a part of my other life as well. Well, now you know. <laughs> now you was, know. She te- was she teaching you be- like the year of that gig? Or is the year before. The year before. Mm-hmm. And that's, I didn't, I'd never met you. I don't know how we didn't meet. Yeah. Playing the same pubs. Um, but then we played the show and then, uh, yeah, y'all asked me to join the band. He asked me to join. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I so, think I literally got down on one knee. You did. You did. So, so we, we, we get to the gate. I love how Ash is wearing those sunglasses in here. I think it's <laughs> so dark. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's always got to be the cool guy though. Yeah. But that's, yeah. yeah that's his, his new his album stick. dropped apparently. So I know, yeah. I know, I know. Everyone's saying, well, hopefully some patients it. step up. We get to hear some of that. I'd love to hear yeah. some of that. Yeah. It's always about time, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's just it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, we were in the, the I'm not even going to call it backstage because it was just a room. Um, and I remember we were back there and we, we would be like, how many people are here? What's what's going on out there? Mm-hmm. And all of our parents were there. I think most of them were there. And I think I remember Liz being like, it's not too many yet. And are like, oh, okay. You know? oh, she's just so brutally our honest. Parents oh. were, our parents were really brutal about it. Yeah. yeah. Is anyone there? Not a soul. <laughs> Not a soul. Why yeah. are you doing this? This is a yeah. waste of time. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, and then, and then the support band goes on, and we're like, "Wow, they must be playing to such a massive audience. How many people are out there?" <laughs> um, you know, I can't believe we have a support band. This is amazing. This is my dream. And uh, they go, "All right, guys, there's maybe about eight or nine people." Um, and we're like, "Oh, okay, thousand, <laughs> <laughs> eight or nine hundred. Uh, where's where are we at with that?" And then 
Anyway, and then we go on stage um, to a very, very solid crowd of 12 people. Um, but they were keen. <laughs> by God, they, they really made us feel so comfortable. Yeah. You know, they really did. They were really keen. They were ready to get involved in whatever we threw at them. In whatever it was. Yeah. We what had we, no idea what it was. What are we open with? Are any of those 12 we, still... Do we have a set list? Yeah. Good. Like, Are any of those 12 still like, like diehard supporters? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That's an interesting insight. Ashton has an eye condition. Oh, okay. And that's that's okay. why you always see him with the, the glasses. Okay, that makes okay. sense. I, I've taught kids same thing. They have they have to wear glasses all the time. Is that when you have the guacamole in the eye? Is it the guacamole? <laughs> no. Is that what Bono has? Guacamole. Yeah, we play four songs. <laughs> Glaucoma. That's pretty short set, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking That's hard. Do we drive a hard bargain, we, don't we? we? <laughs> no, we had a we had a full like acoustic part as well. It's we okay. It's Father's the acoustic Day. thing was our main jokes. thing in the beginning. It's, all good. <laughs> it's Father's Day, so I can tell dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I love homemade guacamole. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. So we were like, we gotta have an acoustic break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we would treat the acoustic part as the main part, and the uh, the electric part was like just like the addition. We're trying this out. Yeah, it was kind of like <laughs> it was kind of like when Bob Dylan started using electric guitars yeah. sparsely, and everyone was like, <laughs> "It's actually yeah." We were like, Rollins we don't know if it's very good. Thing. Yeah, that's, that's how we're compared. And it looks like on here, it took us two weeks to get a cover in the bag with a drummer. Um, after the show yeah and and so yeah so the the gig the gig ended and it was great and then we went outside to take pictures with the people who were there um mm -hmm. thousands and there was <laughs> thousands of them i think they dwindled by that point as well i think that's what we call what do you call it rev revisionist history mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um but you're right about those early fans nathan i suspect some of them are still fans to this day yeah that's pretty cool when you there's always you get to hear both like every now and then I've seen it throughout my years in social media, just like whatever band let's say is ACDC. Some people say, oh, I was at their first gig, you know, whatever it mm -hmm. is. It's pretty cool mm -hmm. that there are those fans who just happen to be there at the beginning of whatever band and they turned out to be the a band band because you never know which band you're following. Their old, those early days will become a band band, so to speak. Mm. Oh, so this is what he has. Okay. Kara uh, Taconis. Oh, okay. Hereditary IDs. Actually, uh, that's actually one of my favorite dinosaurs growing up. <laughs> was the <laughs> <laughs> was the Keratoconus. Uh, it was known for its uh, though the, though they were vegetarians, they were quite nasty to fight. <laughs> did they wear glasses too? <laughs> they did wear glasses. They didn't like the bright lights. <laughs> And they oh, made right. a wicked, and they made a little <laughs> wicked mix of guacamole. <laughs> oh, okay. oh boy! And there were maybe seven by that point. The hard gig to get to, Annandale. No buses. Not easy. No public transport. Yeah, Not that's easy. probably what it was on a really busy so. road. And then, and then we get out there, and then you know we we look at Ashton, and we said, "Wow, this gig <laughs> went so well. Um, yeah. You're great." We're great. <laughs> <laughs> we really <laughs> sold it. Really sold it. You know, like, do you want this opportunity, man? No, we didn't actually. Uh, Callum got down on one yeah. in the in, in the street and said, "Ashton, will you join the band?" Yeah, and I <laughs> said, "Yes, I've got nothing better to do." <laughs> I got nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as well. I actually, I just, oh sorry, you go. No, you go. I don't want to I'll add to go. the yeah. store. No, you go. I go. Uh, um, so, <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're gonna. <laughs> yeah. It's a good joke. It's a good bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good joke. The guy with the blonde hair that opened for us, I can't for the life of me remember his name, but I remember him coming up to, or messaging, or coming up after, because I remember we were trying to be like Green Day and Blink and like, you know, all those bands would be like a rock band. And we had the acoustic thing. We knew we had to do that mm -hmm. for a, a while to get to the electric thing. And I remember him coming up to me after and be like, you guys should maybe just stick to the acoustic thing. It's like insinuating that the electric part was really bad. It was really bad. But we knew yeah. that. To be fair, he probably was right. No, yeah, no, it he probably sucked. Pro he definitely was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, and that's, you know. <laughs> a bit of a shitty thing to say to 14 year olds, like though, isn't it? It's definitely, definitely <laughs> a fucking way to really <laughs> shut a bunch of kids down, you know? <laughs> anyway. 
<laughs> and then we rip this teenage dirtbag cover in your living room around Christmas around, time. Around the Christmas tree. Mate, the marketing was already there. And and Ashton came with We've something seen that, that would one, go on to live in, in Legends. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to talk about the con? <laughs> No, man, it seems like you have a good, uh, <laughs> so good stance I, on it. I think uh, I think he really brought it to the mainstream audience. Um, and to be fair, quite a versatile little thing mm. that Kahan is. It, d- it became a fucking staple for years to come. Yeah. Years to come. And, and yep. going going forwards in years, I remember we'd show up to radio stations and stuff and then Ashton and have this, and, you know, to explain what it is, it's, it's a box and when you hit the top, it, it Makes a higher pitch noise, and then you hit yeah. the bottom, and it makes a lower pitch nice noise. noise. Yeah. Yeah. I have one. Really, uh, oh. yeah, yeah, it's mm-hmm. really <laughs> insinuating. You have one? How's it work? Mm-hmm. A cajon. Yep. Oh, is it's that the drum box. thing? Yeah, you yeah, mentioned it before. It's a box. Yeah, and you can. It's got. It's set up so you can make one of the sounds sound like a snare, so you can kind of do the you know beat and a snare back and forth. Do girls have cajons? <laughs> <laughs> no, they just have cones. <laughs> Boys have rods. Oh, you know, back to the eye jokes. We're so, we're so, you know, we're so stupid. Like, we're absolutely ridiculous. Taking snare rods. Yes, yes, yes. yes. insinuating. And yes. for yes. years yes. to come, we would go. We would walk into uh, walk into oh, radio geez. stations, and they'd be like, "Oh, Ashton, you're sitting on a box <laughs> <laughs> for years and years." But you know what? Kind of fucking legendary. Kind of was a was a good fucking like whatever man. Yeah. <laughs> I whatever. think it was dope. I feel like I feel like we're moving at such high speeds. It only warranted a box. Right? Are you gonna bring a whole kit into? No, no you no, want to chuck not. that thing? In a they fucking, wouldn't let me. You want to chuck that? But they thing all. Down. Back so wouldn't let me not show up at acoustic gigs. <laughs> exactly. So they were like, we need all four of you. Oh my god! Yeah, if we can get a big montage of every time Ashton's ever hit a cajon. But 2011 cajon. was really exciting. It was a really exciting year for us. It was, and it, and it was like a, a year of, of us just figuring it out, you know? Mm. And when, when you start doing that stuff as, as, like, so young, you really do just need it. Like, we needed it to work, and we, we mm. just... Yeah, and we were always receptive to whatever came our way. We didn't judge it. We just used things as good opportunities. Yeah. Mm. so a good approach. We, you know, I, I thought it was cool how you guys let me kind of do this first cover with you. Because it really did change really quick, and you guys were very adaptive, which was great. And you understood the the steps to build a band, which was totally you know, no one tells you how to do it. You just figure and, it out. And you guys felt it out, and and you found a somebody that fit. Yeah, and I think when you joined, that was when we actually realized, oh shit, okay, let's let's try this properly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's stop but fucking around. But you didn't really know me very well. But we didn't need to. No, but you know, but I my whole motivations already were lined up with y'all. Exactly. I wanted to be in a band. Yeah. That I'd already been in about seven. Yeah. And <laughs> I was like doing that thing, so I was comfortable with it. But I mm. I had already. It was lucky that I had become frustrated with the um, non-action. Right. In other bands. So mm. by the time I made it to y'all, I was like, this has to be it. We were like, let's. This has to be the band that actually is going to work. Yeah, yeah, no, that's interesting, actually, because we. Well, it's funny they had those feelings back then. This has to be it, which is okay to feel that way. They're so young. I mean, like, to feel that way at such a young age. Like, this is the whole one that's going to have to work. I mean, a lot of people will find bands in their, you know, 20s, 30s. But he's like mm-hmm. a teenager. Like, if this doesn't work, I don't know what's going to work. But anyways, it just shows their ambition, I guess, at a very young age. I'm just amazed. He said seven bands before yeah. Five Sauce. Like, so. he's what, 15 or 16 at this point? Right. Like, yeah, that kind of blows my mind. I, I just imagine that, uh, or some of the other bands, like. like. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if any of them made it. Who knows? Yeah. <clears throat> It was our first, like we've been like, you know, around a little bit, but mm-hmm. like you'd actually been in, I didn't think about it like that. You've been in lots of bands and with people that are probably, you know, like us when you met us, like kind of yeah, you know, could do stuff, but you know, we're kind of dicking about a little bit and, yeah. and you're like, you know, this, you know, this is something special. You, yeah. Cause you definitely knew there was something special about it, but well, I'd been in bad bands. Yeah. I mean, not yet. Y'all I were a good know. band <clears throat> to some man. extent. Uh, I think that's <laughs> the word. <laughs> In some areas, we were okay. Yeah, I mean, December 16th. I mean, really, that's like, 
that's where we had the perception of like <coughs> us as a group. Yeah. That was like mm-hmm. the first time where people were like, oh, okay, this is an actual thing. This like is, there's this four of them now mm-hmm. and it's starting. Yeah. yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. And and we, by God, we ripped Teenage Dirtbag. And you know what? Just out of my memory, shout out to Norway and Sweden. Yep. On the internet, you guys were holding it down the oh, most. Sweden was, oh, though. Out of all of it. I and remember, the, and yeah. I remember those stats gave us meaning to like keep doing it more. Because it was okay. like, oh, people at, are actually... We looked at the YouTube analytics. Yeah. And it was oh. like majority Sweden, <laughs> Norway. And that was when we had the idea of like, well, if people overseas are seeing this, then... Let's like keep trying. We want it to be a look at that, Nathan. They're looking at analytics, something you and I mm. sort of mm-hmm. do. We try, we try to figure out analytics, and yeah, well, <clears throat> mostly fail at it. But we we definitely <laughs> have tried to see, make sense of it, and yeah, I think keep, we just, yeah. I, I think we just suck as all. <laughs> Touring yeah. band, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that was like a clear indication that we could go elsewhere. Yeah, because yeah, that mm. was the time where so many people were doing like YouTube things, and we some I don't know how, but like because we like you're right, we wanted to be like a live band, and like we wanted to play shows, and because we had like Facebook and on the last gig and being like, oh, you know, this many people are coming, mm-hmm. but then only twelve showed up, or like, well, all these other YouTube people never can, well, not never, but. I find it really hard to get a live following. So we knew, like, that's what we want to do. We want to have people come to the show because we knew what it felt like having people not come to the show. So how do we, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd... Yeah, Uh, yeah, that's true. But it was because we did the acoustic stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, you know, really warranted us to actually have time to grow behind the scenes. You know? Definitely. Definitely. And that's 2011. 2011, baby. And then what did you guys get for Christmas <laughs> that year? Say, what did you get for Christmas? <laughs> I think I got another guitar. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I think that was when I got my Gibbs, Gibson Les Paul custom, which Ooh, wow. uh, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> oh, no. we'll talk about that. Oh, later. no. The first band fight. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. band fight. Hey, what did he say at the end there? The first band fight. Oh, but what was the fight about, though? I, I missed the joke. They or... didn't say. He just said, like... We'll talk about oh, the, that's teasing there's coming some up. Controversy oh. about the yeah, about the the guitar and the first band fight. Oh, I see. Okay, interesting. Well, it was a lot of fun. I like uh, we, we love these guys, and uh, of course, we saw them the summer of twenty three. Nathan and I saw our first mm-hmm. five star show. They did not tour here in Toronto in the summer of twenty four, so they didn't do that summer show again here. But um, yeah, we we loved the show. It was a great time, and. We're looking forward to their next album. I don't know if they're currently working on one right now. They must be. They must be working on one. Well, with both Ashton and Luke doing albums now. Right, that's point, their solo break. Yeah. Maybe they're, they're just doing a solo break for now, and then we see... I, I wouldn't be surprised to see one in 2025. Yeah, That's very possible. I mean, I know their... I should say their last album came out. Let me quickly check here. The year. Uh, 2022. So I guess we're kind of yeah, getting there. It's been two years. It's been two years. No. So 2025. I mean, they actually had... F- Oh, yeah, this would be their longest break almost. He, uh, five Seconds of Summer was 2014, and their second album was 2015. They almost had a three year break between that and the third album, Young Blood. Then they went mm-hmm. 2 2 2. So if they hit 2025, this will be their longest break since the uh, second, third album. But uh, well, yeah, mm-hmm. we hope they, uh, we hope they, obviously, they're working on music. There's no way they're, yeah, we're retired. Um, but Ooh. looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to their sound as they, as they get older, the sound matures, right? So, I'll be interested to see what they give us next. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Oh, sorry. Mike had a daughter in October. Says Gray on uh, Twitch oh. right now. Okay. Interesting. Okay. There you go. So they're busy. I know families. We, hey, we get it. We mm-hmm. get it. You mm-hmm. know, our time is limited. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, thank you cool. so much, Thanks, everyone, everybody. who joined us. And uh, thank you, Lizzie, for getting this organized and uh, outsourcing your request to the other Five Sauce fans on our channel. So that's awesome to mm-hmm. see the both of them work together to get this request out for Lizzie. So thank you, everyone. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. And more to come. See you in the next one.